friends, it's Miss Shara, here again with my friend Archie. Hey everybody, hey Miss Shara. Archie, can you believe that we are almost done with our foundation study? No! I've had so much fun learning about God and the Bible. Last week we learned so much about salvation and what it means to be saved. Salvation means to be saved or rescued from something. When Jesus died on the cross, he provided free gift of salvation from the power and punishment of sin. And salvation is more than just having eternal life when we die. When we are truly saved, it changes our whole life. That was a great summary of last week's lesson, Archie. This week's big question is, what is the church? Well, that's easy. The church is where we go for Sunday school and Awana. Mm, you're thinking about the church building, Archie. The actual church is more than just the physical building where we gather. It's God's people. Well, so do you mean I'm the church? You are a part of the church, but you can't be the church all by yourself. You need other believers. Oh, so is the church kind of like this game, Settlers of Catan? Mm, well, in some ways, yes, but in some ways, no. Why don't you explain the game for us? Well, in the game, you pretend like you're building settlements on the island of Catan. You're trying to build roads and settlements, cities and armies. You use different resources like wood, sheep, or wheat. You can get resources by rolling dice or by trading with other players. You win the game by being the first person to get 10 victory points. But you know, you could never play this game in the jungle. You couldn't? No, because there's too many cheetahs! <laughs> Good one, Archie. Well, the church is like Catan, in that in the game you're trying to build settlements. And the church is building God's kingdom here on earth to spread the good news of Jesus. But the church is also different from Catan, because you're not supposed to be in competition like you are in the game with other players. Because each church is different, and each church is God's people. And we should be working together to spread God's kingdom here on earth. Yeah, that's really interesting. So what does it mean to be a part of the church? What does the church have to do with building God's kingdom? Those are some very good questions. And we have a very special guest who is here to teach us more. Let's listen in. Hello, boys and girls. This is Miss Karen. I'm glad to see you today. Uh, last week, we answered the question, what does it mean to be saved? So today's big question is, what is the church? Here's a picture of the church most of us attend. Once we walk inside, we no longer see the outside of the church. Inside, we see God's people gathered together to worship God. A church is a community of people who believe in Jesus. Like the puzzles that have many different sizes, each box has a different size on it. Churches are different sizes. Some are small and some are large. So some uh, churches meet in small buildings and some churches meet in larger buildings. Um, just like the puzzles are different, no two churches are alike because each church is made up of different people. The church is called the people of God. That means we, know, we belong to God's family. And inside our directory, you can see many pictures of our church family. Together, we are all brothers and sisters in Christ, in God's family, with God as our Heavenly Father. In Ephesians 1, through 27, and 1 Corinthians 12, 12 through 31, we learn we are the body of Christ, just like our physical body has a different parts. We each have different parts of Christ's body. We are connected in Christ and we need each other to work together and serve others for Jesus. The Bible calls Christ the head of the body, meaning he is in charge. Each member of the church is like a different part of the body. We have different jobs and strengths, and every part is important. We all need each other. Before Jesus came to earth, God's people would worship him in his temple. It was a place where God would dwell or be present. 
After Jesus returned to heaven, the Holy Spirit came to live in the hearts of believers. When we put our faith in Jesus, the Holy Spirit comes to dwell or live in us. So each Christian has a Holy Spirit living in them. And together God is building us up to live in us and work through us to share his love with others. Being a part of the church is not just about having a relationship with God, but with each other. Sometimes relationships in the church get messy because people disagree on things or hurt each other's feelings. That's because we are all sinners and no one is perfect, but we can trust God to help us love each other. So I have all these cut out hearts to show a lot of love within our church. We have always, we need to always remember that we are part of the same family and are supposed to love and take care of each other and, and love one another. There are several different reasons we should be a part of a church. We learn these in Hebrews 10, 25. Number one, to be obedient to God. The church is part of God's plan for us and is command for us as believers. Number two, to worship with other believers. God is happy when his church, when his children come together in unity to celebrate who God is and what he has done for us. Number three, to learn more about God and the Bible from other believers. There is a lot we can learn from our church family. God chose your Sunday school teachers, your Wednesday night leaders, your pastor, your staff, to all help you learn and grow as a Christian. Number four, to grow better in sanctification and help each other to be more holy. When a, we practice loving one another in the church, it helps us to grow to be more like Jesus. Believers in the church can help hold each other in accountability and encourage each other with Jesus. Number five, to build God's kingdom. God wants a church to build his kingdom on earth, to spread the good news of the gospel, and to spread his love by serving and helping others. When we work together as a church, we can do greater things together for Jesus than we can do on our own. So the question was, what is the church? The church is God's plan for his followers to grow, worship, and serve together. Members of the church should uh, view each other as brothers and sisters in Christ because we are all a, a part of God's family. God wants to bless the world through the church, and he uses the church to build his kingdom on earth. So next week, what you will uh, the big question will be, how does it all end? So see you soon, boys and girls.